Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well. Uh, what are we doing today? We're doing another cat run here. Uh, today, though, we're bringing in the Freak Squad. We're bringing in a fifth green character to go along with it. Uh, I have seen one or two generated green characters so far, and they tend to be just very strange. So I really wanted to do a cat run with uh, a green character as the fifth character and see what happens. I am not expecting to do incredibly well, but maybe it'll work. Who knows? I don't know. The, the, the late tier generated characters just do seem to be strong almost no matter what you do. Uh, whether or not we'll actually be able to beat uh, Nightmare Mode afterwards. I think I think the fun thing with these cat runs is that they usually seem to win the run, at least on hard mode. So then you can take that run and bring it to Nightmare, and it should be pretty cool, hopefully. Uh, we'll see, though. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say how this will go, but I, again, am very curious to play this one out here. Now, we're bringing in the uh, Reflection with us here. Reflection, I feel like it should be pretty good uh, as our starting green character in cat mode because... Uh, why because? I don't know. I don't actually know exactly why. I think just the cats having, you know, having four cats, we should be able to at least get one three damage side here. And having the reflection in the early game to be able to thrike should be good. Is is thrike a real word? Or I don't even know what this means. But uh, we should be able to hopefully reliably get one or two thrikes off here. Well, you know, hopefully we get the, the single use side here to let us do double thrike. <laughs> um, anyway. Oh my god. You, you sound like you have such a lisp when you say it, man. Anyway, that's the plan. Let's hop in here. Let's not delete that too much. For our starting curse here, keep in mind, in theory, we do want to eventually go to the uh, Nightmare Mode in theory with this too. I think that in Nightmare Mode, big hitters, definitely an absolute run killer here. I think I think Skulk is fine. Skulk is not a terrible curse, although we, do, we are going to have very low HP in general. But only one character genuinely really matters in the late game, and it is just Reflection. So as long as they don't all target Reflection, this is not a very bad curse for us. I think we can take this and not be too upset about it. Uh, that is the plan. Now, very good. We get at least two Thrikes here. And with that in mind, we just need one more Cleave attack, and we do kill all of these guys. Well, that does kill... I'll settle here just to make sure we can kill at least one Archer. Okay, we can actually just kill them both. So the first thing we do is bite, and then thrike, and then thrike, and then thrike. There you go. Very cool. We immediately get a reflection upgraded. Ooh, we get a generate too. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Um, in my last stream, the one I did yesterday, uh, I turned in the settings and I turned all the generates up, which I think for cat mode is actually pretty funny, so I'm happy I, I forgot to turn this off, I guess. But yeah, we're going to have some crazy shenanigans with generation here. A lot of modifiers, a lot of generated monsters, items, yada yada, etc. Right? So we're already getting a generate here right off the bat. Uh, I don't love this N2 though very much. It's kind of a not very good character here for us. So I don't think we're taking this. Um, four damage heavy, two X. So this is this is oh this is just uh the spheres ability. Okay. Uh, technically cleave does enable this, but I think we just take a granite. Granite's a pretty decent character. Pretty happy to have him here. Although he is getting his ass beat. And a two damage heavy is not very good here, but three damage, three different cleaves here, very strong. Um, probably just do this. Maybe we go like this into hit this beat. Oh, who's who's killing you? Hold on a second, wait. Never mind. Hold on. Kill your ass, I guess. Then that works. And you run. Yeah, get out of here, bud. Look at the challenge. Extra thorn in exchange for a halo. Uh, I don't know if we're going to save often with, with greens. I think this is a decline, but I don't think it's too risky to take that here. Um, I guess give me the caster root here. I don't know, man. Those are both pretty bad items. Maybe this ends up being useful at some point. Who knows? Okay, two seeds hatching on Skulk turn is a little bit scary, but luckily we can we can kill both these pretty easily this turn. Not too spooky here. Hey guys, come on, roll something for me, please. Okay, very good stuff. I think we're gonna maybe do something like this too here. Then we're just gonna kill the chest this turn. And we should be able to kill the thorn next turn, hopefully with a granite hammer again. Um, losing a cat for the chest there I think is worth it. Okay. Very cool. Goodbye, Thorn. 
And we get a healing wand. See? Worth it. Worth it. Absolutely worth here. There you go, cat. Enjoy. Uh, and we get... Okay, robot or N3-1A3 here. What a freak of a character, huh? And you have... What the... One damage, eliminate cleave. That's just kind of weird, but not terrible. Turning up, turning blanks into a cleave is not is not a bad thing here. But I think I'll just take the robot. Maybe I take a random. Actually, you know what? I actually don't need either of these. I'm gonna take a random instead. Give me a random. Okay, jumble. You know, jumble. I think this guy is kind of weak in general. From my first impression, I only played him once so far, so I'm not 100 percent sure. But my impression of this guy is weak. But obviously, seeing him on fight four, he should hopefully be pretty decent. Hopefully, maybe be a pretty decent character. Okay, two damage cantrip looks pretty good. Give me a cleave here, too. Okay, engage, not terrible here, either. Okay, that's very good news. Hit here. Boom, boom, boom. Summoning two wolves because of the skulk is a little scary, but I think we'll be okay. Again, jumble should hopefully do some big jumble in here. Given the size you currently have, I will accept this, I believe. That seems okay for now. Lots of good damage rolls here. Okay, looks looks pretty good to me. Then we do this, this, and this. And then we can kill neither of these wolves. So we lose a house cat here. Listen, the house cats, unfortunately, I, li I love them. They are expendable. <laughs> it's going to be how this often goes, is that we're going to lose a couple of cats every once in a while. You both double targeting? No, you're going up here. Okay, we'll keep we'll keep the shield for now this turn, then just to be safe. Uh that is lethal. Okay. Goodbye, wolves. We get an item. I don't love the peak cap here. Give me a random. Okay, well, I guess I put this here for now. That seems fine. Shouldn't be too hard to trigger this in theory, so that's interesting. Assuming it stays. I forget how Jumble works. Does it take away all the keywords? No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, three damage, three damage, one damage here. Okay, guys, come on. Get together. Okay, that lets us kill the quartz here. We are losing three house cats. Maybe I should take out the Slimer then instead. Here, hold on. Maybe Slimer is actually the priority target today. Ah, we lose one cat. That's, that's definitely... Definitely the correct line here. Absolutely the correct line. Um, we once again have lethal. Goodbye, quartz. And now, here is where things are supposed to get pretty crazy. You've got a pain 14 side. A heal 38 side. Okay. Okay, this guy's pretty sick with this so far. That is, his thing is one damage charged. And it requires one, two pip size. We have no mana generation charge. It's not very good at us. Or good for us here. And of course, we've got N4 Mr. Teddy Roosevelt here. Carry a big stick. 14 damage, single use. Uh, and then a cleave shield. And what's your what's your tactic here? Kill an enemy with eight or less HP serrated. And it requires... I'm sorry. It requires six damage pips and one shield pip. <laughs> I don't think I want this. This guy doesn't seem too bad to be. Heal 38 is so funny. 14 pain is pretty funny too. I think I take a random here, honestly. Give me a random. What do you got for me, game? Oh, I like this guy. This seems pretty good. This seems pretty decent. What is, what's up with this skull here? Do you have... You're not showing half health. Why is it half... You know, whatever. Who cares? What's your tactic? Wow, six shield for a blank? That's crazy. This character seems pretty sweet. Okay, give me this guy. Hell yeah. Uh, put this, doesn't, I guess we'll put this here. Doesn't really matter too much where that goes. Okay, N4, time to kill a man. <laughs> it is time to kill a man. Okay, I'll keep two of these. Yeah, whatever. So here's what we do. We bite the fountain so we can heavy attack one of you. I guess you. And then unfortunately, uh, oh wait, I can, oh, why should, I'm stupid. I should have rolled for, I forgot about. I forgot about our tactic. I should have rolled for blanks. I, yeah, uh, that's, that's slight misplay. Slight misplay here. Hopefully you'll hopefully you'll understand this is not the most intuitive uh, decision here to make. My apologies. Oh, oh, I can burst you up, actually. Oh, we're fine. We're fine here. We just burst up. We should be okay in this position, hopefully. But we don't actually have lethal here. Hold on. Hmm. 
You know what? Give me some give me some blanks. Give me some blanks here. Shield your ass. And he runs at the beginning of this point, right? Yeah, get out of here, buddy. Okay, okay. Diving suit. Not very good for us here. You know what we should have maybe done? I put this in the bottom before. Maybe maybe this character should be actually like here, so that way things like diving suit actually make sense. Oh no, this works. This does work. We put it on house cat. We put it on house cat. It does nothing currently, but in the in the future, in theory, it could help us. So like right now, it does like literally. It gives us a revive, which is not very good here. But in the future, that will help us probably once this becomes a character that actually has usable sides on the right side, hopefully. Um, we. This is a pretty tough fight for us, honestly. I think we need some blanks actually, so we can we can shield here. Which is a really inter again interesting lines today, huh? Um, hit here, hit here. We lose one house cat no matter what, unfortunately. It's got to be the way it goes today. Um, rest in peace. We should be pretty clear from this point on. We just need you know. I guess I'll take this. Uh oh, we're fine here. We're fine. We we bite this. We we hammer one. The other one runs away. Okay. Oh, we just overkilled you, too. <laughs> you know what? Hey. We just overkill there. Of course. Oh, I do like Emerald Shard. Do we have any tier 2 items right now? That are like, like, oh, we really want this doubled up here? No, we gambled on a 1 to 3 and we got a 3 there. I guess we declined, then. I don't think we're going to see any tier 2 items. Okay, what do we got here for the fifth, the fifth slot? I like this character. Pretty, pretty overall decent. We do have the mandatory self damage side, which is not great. And then we have Mr. Mr. Defense himself. The tactic is eight damage, one keyword side. That's a really good tactic. All of our cats have cleave sides on them, right? So it shouldn't be too hard to hit this. Not to mention we have 11 shield cleaves here. What is your tactic? <laughs> That's so bad. That's so, we can turn. This character just turned 17 damage into 13 damage. I'm gonna take this guy. This guy seems pretty sick. I like I like this guy's. I like the cut of this guy's jib here, if you will. Now, unfortunately, still just com completely X'd out on the right side here, but that's fine. Okay, please let my cats cleave today. Okay, we have some issues. Hold on. There's a cleave. One more, one more cleave. Come on. Oh, baby, hold on. Oh man. Look at him go. Reroll the class of house cat. No, thank you. Ooh, collector hat. That's a pretty good item for a for a house cat. Absolutely. This is one of the generated items. If you're familiar with the jester's hat, there's a you know basically I'm pretty sure one of these for every single character in the game. So this is just one of those for at the at the for the collector instead, which is pretty sweet. Now what I like here is that these all have one keyword on them. Which means, if we do this, and let's say, for example, actually this into, I don't know, this maybe. Oh, it's the base size. I'm stupid. Okay. Never mind. Doesn't work. Doesn't matter. Doesn't work. Whatever. Either way, we still have at least a guarantee of getting one of these uh, eight damage hits here to proc. I'll take this. Take this. Try again. Sing you, that's a single use. Oh, that's a single keyword. Single use there. Oh, you know what I'm realizing too? That that the the what's it called? The cat that just rolled the health side here. This had trio on it. That's that would have worked as well. Unfortunate. They kill you. Hmm. No matter how this goes, we lose one cat. Unfortunately, doesn't really matter which one. Doesn't really matter which one. As long as we're not losing N5, we're going to be okay here. This is an insane ability, by the way. This is just crazy. Part of me thinks we just shouldn't even reroll it, and we should just play from this point onwards using the N5. But we should try to keep upgrading it. One, A one one pip side and one blank side for 23 damage. Not as good as this tactic. We do have a 28 damage side here, too, on this character. Yo, the greens are kind of just psychopath characters, huh? And this one, which is very interesting, a 9 damage cleave here. A 32 damage pain side. So he just dies when you roll this. Of course, a 45 heal. Of course, a 45 heal here. And then we get 
7 damage, 1x any pip. So basically just like a slightly better version of this ability because it doesn't need a keyword, it just needs any, any side. 1x any pip on it, okay. I think I'm going to take this guy because that seems pretty funny. Just roll anything not an X and you can turn it into 7 damage. I will accept this, I believe. Let's try to roll this here too. Okay, let's see how we're currently looking. Right now the house cats are taking some damage. Hmm. Okay. So where's the targeting coming from? You. Kill you. Kill you. Kill you. These two are targeting N6. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> okay, this, this guy is a freak of nature. And I think they're all going to be freaks of nature is kind of what I'm realizing here. But this is, this is very interesting. It is a little simple, though. We are kind of just saying, like, hey, here you, here you go. Uh, N6, take this. Uh, kill everyone. Uh, Polish Emerald pretty good here because this will copy our hat. So now we can have two uh, house cats that have uh, the collector in uh, base sides instead, which is pretty good to me. I do not hate this line currently. We'll play this. I'm realizing also it's very funny that this N6 still doesn't give this character anything with the with or this character here anything with the diving helmet. So that's pretty funny. Okay, I think first thing we do is probably just kill both of you guys. And then just kill the ghost. How big is that damage cantrip? <laughs> 22 damage cantrip. Okay. 12 shield to all allies. 1-1 one, one keyword side. Okay, of course. And we've got a wand of wand here with 24 damage. Okay. Very interesting too. And what is your keyword here? 11 any pips. Okay, so not, not that good of a tactic here. On a character with overall better sides... This is, I gotta, this is so foggy. I gotta take this guy. I'm sorry. I have to take this man. Look at this shit. And we never die. We just never die. Oh, except for poison. Poison kills us. But beyond that, we don't die here. So we should. You guys take the cleaves here too, honestly. Come on, N7, hit. God, this game is so funny sometimes, man. We do this, of course we shield up here. And then we pass the turn. Yeah, I'll, I'll listen. I'll let them I'll let the mana go. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm good for it here. Okay, urn. I mean urn's kind of interesting with the with the hat here, because it'll give technically Oh it'll, it'll give It'll give this cleave. And this already has cleave on it. This is not that useful. <laughs> Tooth necklace on N7 is very funny here. Uh, give me a random. I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. Ooh, that's not that's not too shabby. Here, put this here. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Okay, we got some poison coming in here. Poison was the enemy. I did mention that before. Kind of a thing that we're going to struggle with here, I think, overall. I'll keep this Death Wish side. Okay, maybe a little bit less struggle than I realized at first. There we go. I've, oh, my God. Meow, by the way. Um, yeah, that, that guy got killed. I forgot about the overkill there. That, that'll do it, huh? Oh, okay. So this is Captain Shield Man. We've got a... Th <laughs> That's too much shields. That's 377 cleave shields. What is up with these characters? Okay, that's too much shields. 64 damage, self-heal. Okay, that makes sense, of course. 79, 38 cantrip shield, and of course the add cleanse and self-cleanse. Your tactic is 7 damage vulnerable with 1 1 pip side. It has to be specifically 1 pip though, right? We have, luckily have a lot of 1 pip sides here with these cats cleaving and whatnot. Right, that's not the issue. That's not that good. I gotta go with the big shield, man. That's too funny to not take here, I feel like. Holy... I think we actually... Oh, you know, this cat's actually pretty cool here because it has so many one-pip sides. It should be pretty easy to hit. Oh, I'll keep this here, man. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, they're doing a lot of poisoning to us here today. 
Okay, seven damage, vulnerable. Do we do, do we like use the house cat duplicate here, potentially? Like, do we first off get this shit out of my face? Right, do we just do, uh, maybe not, I don't know. I guess the cleave is actually pretty good here because it'll kill the carrier and hit the call a little bit. Mm, kill you. Still have two. Oh wait, yeah, we still have two characters dying. This house cat is dead as shit. I'm pretty sure. We do this. I think we just kill the call egg. Simplify things. That seems pretty good to me. Okay. We do still need one pip sides though again to make this ability actually work for us. Oh, the death wish sides are pretty good here too, I suppose, huh? You're a zero pip side. Okay, well. Whatever, we get to leave. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say there, cat? Uh decline. No, I like I like the emerald here. Ooh, Luda hat. Thimble, I mean, we've seen some pretty crazy pain sides on these show up every once in a while, so maybe Thimble's pretty good here. I think I'll just take the Luda, Luda's hat here. Again, re hat replacers for the cat seem pretty good, generally speaking, although we might not want it now because currently we care a lot about having single-use sides here for this any. So in the future, we'll probably put that on, but for now, no thank you. Okay, single pip, single pip, big cleave shield looks pretty good here. There's some more single pips to hit there, too. There we go. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay. So if we put this here. Fuck me. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny, man. Okay. Um. You can hit here. Just mean like that. I guess we should do this first. Like, maybe. It doesn't matter too much, huh? Who are you getting targeted by? That one? Who's? Who, oh, you're hitting them there? Okay, we, we definitely kill you. Definitely something like this, and then... You should have lethal next turn, almost certainly. Uh, Single use, single use, single use. That is lethal. Cool, cool, and cool here. Okay. Again, is the, Teddy Roosevelt back again with his big stick. 95 damage, single use. Also has an Echo, which in theory might be kind of cool, but not very useful for this team. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny how... We need an Icar Chalice stat. <laughs> okay, okay. And then your ability. Uh, not... I mean... Not that good for us, unfortunately. We, a lot of these seem to be focused on if you have a, a team full of non-house cats. Like, if we had a team full of tier 9 re generates here, this could be pretty cool, probably. Um, but not that useful for us, unfortunately. 57 damage, 3x any pips, and one blank side. It's not bad. Good against bosses. Straight up kills Tarantus here, right? But there are some concerns. But also this character has some has some just kills here as well. I think we can take this over the other one. That should be pretty okay here. And I don't know. I don't know where to put this, man. I can go here for now. We do need some blank sides, actually. Well, I guess we have the cats have enough. You know what? Actually, if we need blank sides, cast the root comes off now. I think that's okay. And you know what? We could probably do something like this here. Maybe put Luda here now. That should be fine. That should be fine enough here. Okay, we have our we have our blank side. We have a three pip side, so we get at least. Oh, there's three X any pip sides, so we need like okay. Um, oh, you got the blank. Uh. Oh no, it, it is. It is. Sorry, it is. It is. Uh, it is just using the the three pips. There. Okay. That changes things a lot, actually. You can kill a spider this turn. Only really save one cat. I guess we we'll just do this way. 
We could try to re-roll for a better roll here, but I think this is acceptable. They're gonna leave, that's fine. Gauntlet versus Lion. Lion on this guy is pretty funny. You know, sure, why not? Give me a lion. This could be pretty good in the in the nightmare mode. When enemies have like 400 health. Hitting them with like a, a, a 97 fear so we get a lot of guys actually run away, which would be pretty good for us. Okay. We get to do this twice here. I guess this just kills you, huh? Oh, hold on. And I guess we just do this and pass the turn, actually, because we don't really need... I guess we... No, hold on. In that case... In that case, we should tr probably try to get a better roll on you. If we're not even using the ability here. N9. How much shield is that? 499. I don't... I think that's overkill. Ah, unfortunate. Whatever. Yeah, that works. He makes some bones here, but I think we'll be A-OK -okay this turn. We don't handle groups of enemies very well, though, I must say. That's something we kind of do struggle with overall. Mm. Sure, give me this. We stun the Wiz here. Who's killing you? This bone's over here. Okay, we can handle that then. And pass the turn again, and we should be able to win here, hopefully, pretty easily. Yep, that is lethal. Goodbye. Goodbye. When? Well, I'm sorry. What was that cat? <laughs> Come again? Okay. Let's see. Let's see the new collection of freaks. We've got, of course, the 47 shield cantrip. <laughs> Revive seven. <laughs> Revive seven of our five dead characters. Very cool. He has four or whatever. 49 damage. 26 any pips. And the 205 single use. So we have. I mean, this character has three sides that can trigger this, which is not terrible. Seven damage weaken, 11 shield pips. 999 shields here. I don't like either of these very much. I'm going to go for the random here. We'll see what the game gives us. All right, that's 66 growth. 15 damage cantrip. We have a mandatory uh, damage one here. Big stick. And our tactic... 1x, 1 pip side, and 1x, 1 keyword side. That seems extremely good for us. That seems like an incredibly easy ability to utilize here. I believe we will be probably taking off Ludus Hat here in exchange for more sides that meet the requirements of this tactic. Because we need more we need more keywords. In theory, if you have a 1 pip, 1 keyword side, that'll satisfy both. But these cleaves are actually very strong for us. Very happy to have those. Uh, you know, I forgot about the Diving Helm. I actually think this is... I mean, I guess mandatory. The self-damage mandatory is uh, usable, I believe, with the tactic here, too. I guess we can do this instead. It's kind of funny. Just to have this 66 growth side here as well. Shouldn't matter too much. Yeah, it's a big stick here. We'll take that, I think. Roll the rest. That works. Roll the rest. And no one else got anything here. Kill your ass. Unfortunately, we have to kill this chomp eventually. That's going to kill the, the house cat up top here, I'm pretty sure. Not really a way around that one. It's just how it's going to be today, unfortunately. Mm. Hold on a second. Do I realize? I think we can do this. <laughs> Interesting. So this... We have to be careful about our sequencing here with uh, this tactic because we this satisfies both requisites, but because we had this available, it goes top down and it used this first for the uh, the one keyword side, which is very interesting. I didn't realize that was mechanically how that would work. Okay, important note, important note to make there. Take this, try the rest. Take this. I don't think we want this this turn. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, kill you. Kill you. Wisp is making some more guys here, unfortunately. Keep giving me these one pip sides, please. Okay, I, I want to see, for the sake of science, I want to see how this interacts with uh, this ability. Because I'm pretty sure it works, right? 
Okay, I just wanted to make sure that I knew that you could consume the dice with this ability so you wouldn't have to actually end up uh, wasting the, uh, or taking the self damage or whatever. I'm sorry, who are you? Excuse me? So we got a 3x pure heart pendant. We got the Eye of Horus here. Eye of Horus is kind of bad. The only character we care about is this guy. Four eye bracers, not that good either, honestly, but it's whatever. And we'll put this here. Again, does not matter too much. Okay, so two of our house cats are dying this turn. Nothing to really be done about it here, although we do just snipe your ass. Hold on. Um, let's heal you. There we go. That works. Oh, it was bottom damage. For some reason, I thought that was top damage. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, so you need 58 damage pips and one blank side to do this ability, but it's quite a bit of damage. Um, and your actual sides are 10 damage, 80 damage cleave, 80 damage cleave, 18 heavy. So decent, decent enough sides. And we have this guy. By the way, has a has a freak blank X here. I don't know if you noticed that. A freak ass blank X there. We've got 50 damage cleave, 208, which I have the thimble now. 208 damage pain. We have a, a death defy. 800 cleave shield, and then the ability is 103 damage, inflict single use, one X, one keyword side. Okay, we're definitely taking this guy then. That that tactic is way too strong here to pass up. Um, one, it's it's was it one pip? One one X keyword side. Okay, so a good thing because we have no way to get one pip sides here because of the uh, the fucker. The fucker's doing the fucker stuff right now. Um. I should have had this somewhere else probably a while ago. I forgot about the keyword being here. Whatever, it's fine. It shouldn't matter too much. I guess we can do this in theory instead, and then this can go... Oh, I don't want this here. Absolutely not. Um, this can go here for now. Doesn't really matter. Meh, whatever. Hey, let me in. I would like to kill, please. We're looking for things with one keyword. That's a keyword, that's a keyword, that's a keyword. Also, this is, what, 80 damage cleave? 51 damage cleave? Okay, we... The fight's already over. Goodbye. Very cool, very easy run, but that's just the start. That is just the start, because now we're going to be going to... Uh, we'll look at the stats here real quick, too. Uh, we're going to be going to uh, Nightmare Mode now. And we're going to be taking that there, and it should be very cool. Very cool and fun. Nightmare. we got to scroll down a bit. Here we go. So, Nightmare Mode. We have Decay Sigils, not very scary. We have a Tier 10 item here. We have two Demon Horns combined into one not a very strong item. And we have Steam. I'm sorry. <laughs> Add all keywords present on this dice to the right side. That sounds fun. Doesn't do much for us right now, but it's, it's interesting. Okay, there you go. Look at this. That'll be cool. I wish I had that urn now, because then we could put we could put uh what's it called on it too? Endure. We can maybe get some freaky stuff going there, but it doesn't matter that much. And the decay sigil, not really an actual threat to us this fight, not really too worried about it. I'm actually realizing that the steam is not that good for us because we need our dice with only one keyword for our tactic still. That's a keyword. What do you got for me, N11? Does this count as a keyword? It does have stasis on it, right? You think that works? Hold on. Science time. Science time. Hold on. It works. That's so cool. Oh, that's so neat. Hey, okay, well, you guys can go to hell. Wait a second. Why can't I? Oh, my God. The decay sigil. Only. Oh, fuck me, man. The decay sigil means that only. All these guys have two keywords on them. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Okay, well. Bit of a misplay on my part. Unfortunate. We'll get you out of here. Only the top house cat is dying, so it's not too big of an issue, but it is annoying. Can we somehow kill you here, Bones? Or Decay Sigil? I don't think so right now. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Get me out of here. This should, be not, this should not be too hard to escape. That's a single one. You die if I use this, so I'd rather not, I think. 
We should be able to make it out of here just fine, hopefully. Give me this. It's going to be a little bit slower. But, um... Maybe you can do this here. There we go. Oh, there, we make it out. We make it out. I forgot we we remove the decay once we kill the the second sigil there. Uh, you got. I'm sorry. Are those tarantus eggs? Excuse me. Can you legally have those? Bandana water. Add cantrip to all pipless sides. No, that's not very good. Poseidon charm. Not not consistent on our N11 here. So I think I'm gonna take a random instead. Bismuth. Replace blank sides with add copycat to target sides this turn. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know. Cast a root, go by. Hmm. Very weird. Here you go, buddy. You can have that, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Very peculiar. Oh, I have this as well. This has a single keyword on it, so it's very good with this. Okay, I should have done that before. Listen. Sorry, I'm not playing 100% optimal. This is a very weird thing happening right now, okay? You'll have to forgive me. Try again. Try again. Okay. Well, we have a 50 damage cleave here, which is pretty good. It also does kill U3. And then we do just kind of kill your guys' ass. There we go. Coffee. Add cantrip to all highest pip sides. Or two wrenches. I don't think I want this being cantripped. No, thank you. Death sigil. We should be okay here. Add pair to the middle four sides. Okay. Um... That seems pretty good currently with, with this tactic right now. Can we... Do you think we can win the game just with this N11? Do we think we stop upgrading here? Because this feels very strong. What the fuck is this? No, that's really terrible. I think, the, I, I think we maybe settle on this guy. Because this guy on this cat team feels very consistent and strong. It's outputting pretty consistently 500 damage per round. I think we can honestly settle. I know it's kind of boring, but I would, like, I would like to win Nightmare Mode, and this seems like a pretty good way to do it. So, skip. No thank you. You need to offer me something really crazy to not take this this current character. Okay, Death Sigil. This is a single keyword, so there we go. Well, that was a single keyword, too, apparently. Um, Helm of Power Obel. Oh, Titan's Bane amulet for sure here. Someone actually made a really good point of this in the last cat video I did, where Titan's Bane amulet is basically an auto pick because if you ever see, I don't know, a combat with three Hexias in it and you're playing a, a blue generate as your fifth character in your cat team, you need some sort of way to be able to uh, actually, I don't know, kill the Hexia, right? This is a pretty good way to do it. Uh, so we'll take this here. Um, and we'll put it, for the time being, I guess nowhere right now. It doesn't really matter too much. I guess if you want, you know what we can actually do here is something like this. So that way we have a guaranteed one keyword on all of your dice here. That seems pretty good. I think we actually take the steam off too. Or stream, sorry, the stream off. It doesn't seem very important for what we're doing right now. Take the fear salt. Let me put this here too, actually. Oh, nah, nah, never mind. Whatever. Okay. Next fight, please. Oh, what do these demons do? You're a war chief combined with... Oh, you're just getting the skulk bonus. Okay. A single keyword, single keyword, single keyword, single keyword. You're all dead. Okay. Boom. 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 Very cool. Very simple run. You... Uh, they're, they're fucking here. She's fucking here. Huge sword, I'd cleave to all damage sides versus bloodlust. I'd bloodlust all damage sides. Or to all sides or all damage sides? All sides. Okay, very cool. It's a pretty strong ability, honestly, but at the, at the, the you know, the situation we're working with here, not that, not that, just not that good. Give me a random. What do you got for me? Cantrip is pretty interesting here. Um...
no harm in it he being here basically I, in theory the the for this fight specifically you could you could hit the the 50 damage cleave here and hurt yourself on the hexia but i think you'll be okay okay not a very scary round here either okay 800 shields you love to see it take this here so we can disable the hexia this turn this now has two keywords on it so we can't use these anymore which i'm now realizing is kind of a misplay i think we'll be okay otherwise only one keyword there we go okay so first, disable the Hexia. Then shoot the Hexia. Shoot Basalt. Oh, do you guys run away? Oh, look at that. They run away. Nice. Goodbye. Bone Charm Whirlwind versus Emerald Satchel. Copy all unequipped items. This tends to be a little excessive, usually, in my experience. Right? Like, it causes some issues, potentially, for us. Let's take it. I don't know. It's cool. We can probably do something pretty neat with this. Let's see if we put this... I don't know. The, the problem here is that we don't even... We, like, first of all, we don't want death. I guess we have two death sigils, sigils coming up here, so I don't know. Whatever. I think we're taking off pretty much all of our items here. Except for... Yeah, we don't. We actually definitely don't want cantrips here because they have death sides as well. right? We just want to have as many chances at only just one keyword possible. So we'll definitely do this, right? Because we need one keyword on these, so death there. Um... The, 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 what's it called here? The Bismuth is pretty good here because they have copycat and then death on them. Right? I guess in theory we take this off too and this off. Right? That's pretty good odds at working here, I think. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, that is lethal. Hit. Hit. Oh, you know what? Hit. There you go. There you go, Titan's Bane, Leather Vest. I'm sorry, what the fuck is this? Replace the left side with 100 damage death, plus one max HP. Mm. Blue Skink, I had this recently. Blue Skink's cool if we also have Dolphin, but we don't. Give me a random. First five turns cannot die. Okay, that seems incredible. That just seems like a very good thing for this character to have. Because they're, they're pretty important for us, right? So I like that quite a bit. And then we'll probably put, I don't know, this here. No, definitely not this here. Hold on. How about this now? It's interesting, especially because now the uh, they, these have Dispel on them too, which is kind of interesting. This goes here again, by the way, probably. I don't know, it's funny. Let's just do this. You know what's interesting? We we, we skipped that level up before. Now it's not letting us get any more level ups on, on N11 here. I just noticed that. Very curious. Okay, this is one... These are all one keyword, so we'll take those. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's actually really cool. We get to do this as well here. Although maybe we don't do it. Maybe we want to kill. Uh, we got to kill you. I have to kill you. You're not even dying this turn. Why are you not dying this turn? Oh, because of the actual cantrip trigger of this. Okay. Um. We can even we can even save your ass too, actually, here proactively. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's really good. That was a very good round for us here. Kill your ass. Move on. Okay, we're almost done with nightmare mode. Death sigils. You know the drill for death sigil. You know how we do this. Oh wait, wait they gave us a level up here too. Maybe I am just dumb. Farewell. Upon death, kill the topmost enemy. Uh, replace the left side, with, left side with shield four. No thank you. Obsidian edge. Triple the pips of all damage sides. Sure. That seems fine. These being tripled up, that seems good for us. Why not, right? Um. Okay. 315. Re re revive 10. Okay, the sides here are all bad. Apparently they cap out at 999, it looks like. Which is interesting. We have the caster root. That's all we really have. So this is not very tempting to me here. Although he has just two heal sides as well, so we can trigger that pretty often. I think we're better off currently on our on our our same bullshit here, personally, right now. But let's see our other character. 
Some big damage sides here. Love the one damage stick, obviously. No, this is another skip. I like our N11 still better. No, thank you. And we once again do our best to set up here to have... Uh, so we can take this off too for now. No reason not to. Oh, fuck. Satchel comes off too then. Okay. That's fine. Satchel comes off too here. This is all good. Uh... Just thinking. Okay, we should be fine. You're immune to death anyway. We'll keep this, though. Keep this. Try to roll better on... Oh, you know what I actually realized, too? Hold on, actually. We can... We'll take this. We can kill the two death sigils, and then we can start using the other things that have single uses, or that have single keywords on them. We get more kills afterwards. So we can do something like... Uh... We're going from top down here. We we'll actually just do these three first. We do like, uh, kill you, kill you. Oh, then we can't do, ah, whatever, it's fine. It doesn't matter too much here. We just do Death Defy there and we should be able to kill the snake next turn. Very cool, very good. This is a cool team. It's a little too simple for me, I feel like, honestly, and I'm a pretty simple player. How much health do you have? 160, so we need to actually hit you twice, but we can do that very easily. I mean, at this point. Yes, please. Um, Satchel goes back here. We put the helmet there as well again. This is a nine... Uh, caps out again. We ca we've capped it here, actually, with the helmet, which is pretty interesting, right? Normally, it's, it's only 624. We can only make it go <laughs> 999 here instead. If we hit it, though, it's very funny. Okay. Anything else we need to equip here before I forget? I think we're all good. I believe we are all good. Okay. Oh, okay. Fight's over. Goodbye, Troll King. Okay, final fight. It's five hands. 250 health. An incredibly easy fight for us to handle, I feel like. Shuriken and Emerald Satchel. Doesn't really do much for us here. Crescent Shield... Idol of Skirts and Titan's Bane Potion. Sure, man. No, actually, I don't even know if I want that. Give me a random 19 instead here, actually. Gain Learn Devoid Farewell. Kill all enemies with two or less HP. That's not going to help us. Oh, but then also, upon death, kill the topmost enemy. Okay. Anyone, anyone, I don't think anyone wants this even. Okay, whatever. It's fine. This is this is a guaranteed dub for us, basically. Um, I don't see how we lose this. Well, I forgot to give you your fucking dispel thing. I forgot about that. You know what? I see how we lose this. I fucked up a little bit here. Well, I think we still have lethal. One, two, three. <laughs> there we go. Pretty cool cat run. Pretty neat one. Uh, hey, the, the green freaks actually do some pretty crazy stuff sometimes with their tactics. Who could have possibly foreseen this? Anyway, stats here in the actual hell mode of the run, part of the run. We only lost a cat once. And this guy, this guy was so strong. We didn't we didn't we pick this guy up actually before hell mode or not hell mode. Sorry, nightmare mode. Blah. I, I think we picked him up before nightmare mode, though. And look, look at what he did. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this one. Cat runs are pretty cool. And hopefully I'll see you for the next video. Goodbye.